What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a Prince of YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, and I'm deciding to give these pink sneakers to Rajon Rondo. You guys are probably wondering why am I giving him pink sneakers? Well, I'll get into that a little later on. But I decided to make some trades and sign some more free agents. I decided to sign Malcolm Lee because he's a good defender. So what I'm looking for right now, a good defender, is because I have a lot of players on my team that can't defend, like Kelly on Linux. And, you know, Danny Granger isn't all that good on defense. He's pretty decent. Courtney Lee's a, a very good defender, though. So um, I didn't want to give up Courtney Lee. But look, what, look at what I'm getting in return. Joakim Noah, Jimmy Butler, and their first round pick. I think this would be a pretty good trade. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the trade because since that's what they offered for Jimmy Butler and Joakim Noah. So now that I have Joakim Noah and Jimmy Butler, I'm deciding to trade Jimmy Butler because I already have enough two guards. I got Monte, I got Bradley, and now I have Butler. That's too much two guards. I need a three. Yeah, I need a um, small forward. So look at who I found, Iggy. So, you know, I'm just playing around with the trades, and you see they offer a counter trade, and this is one day, this is what they want in order for me to have Iguodala on my team. So, I'm going to go ahead and accept this. I mean, look at who I had to give up, Jeff Green and Jimmy Butler. Jeff Green wasn't all that good of a defender anyway, so, hey, that was a pretty good trade in my book. So, now that I have Iggy on my team, I'm decided to trade away all the players that I'm not going to use, like Tony Douglas, this guy's name I can't pronounce, and Chris Copeland, who are all not that good of a defenders anyway. But Tony Douglas is pretty good, and look at who I get. J.R. Smith and Pablo Prigioni. All for my first round pick. It's all because of my first round pick. I was saving this pick for a trade that could be big. A trade that could be huge. And me giving up three scrubby players just to get J.R. Smith and Pablo Prigioni, that is an excellent trade, and the pick just made things that much better. I mean, if it wasn't for the pick, I would have never got that trade in the first place, but... I don't understand why the Knicks are trying to trade J.R. Smith in my association. They were trying so hard to trade him out. I, I don't get it, but hey, he's going to be an excellent player coming off the bench. Excellent for me. And you see Davis with the first bucket. So we are down by five points to start this game. We're not really shooting too well, but let me explain to you guys. Well, not explain. Let me tell you guys my starting lineup and my bench, my second unit. So we got Rondo at the point. At the two, we got Monte Ellis. At the three, we got Iggy. At the 4, we got Paul Gasol, and at the 5, we got Joakim Noah. Monte Ellis isn't really the best defender, but hey, he gets the job done. Um, Rondo is a very good defender. Who else we got? Iggy's a great defender. Joakim Noah is a great defender. Who else we got? Gasol is pretty okay. He's not that bad. He's really not that bad. So, that's my starting 5. I think I did pretty well with his starting 5, especially in one season. As you guys know, when I first started this association, I skipped the first season and, you know, skipped straight to the next one so I could do the draft and, you know, get into free agency, get to sign some free agents. I'm glad Pau Gasol decided to sign during free agency. I mean, he's a big part of our team. So now looking at the second unit for our team. We got DJ Augustine at the point, Avery Bradley, J.R. Smith, Jared Sullinger, and Marcin Gortat. Now that's a pretty good second unit in my opinion. And also we got Pablo and Malcolm Lee. I'm not using Pablo and Malcolm Lee because we won't really need them. I'm sticking to a 10 man rotation. Probably I'll probably use them if there's like if it's like garbage time or something. So yeah, that's my second unit. J.R. Smith is not all that great on defense, but you know, like Monte, he gets the job done. We got Augustine. I think he's a pretty good defender. Last time I checked, is he has probably a an A minus in perimeter defense, so he's not that bad. We got Gorta is a good defender. Uh, Solinger isn't that great at defense because you know, I think he's only his second or third year in the league. Well, on this association, it's because you know since I skipped the first season, that's like another season for him. So that's probably this is probably like his third season in the NBA on this association specifically. So, you know, he's not really a good defender. I might try to run some drills for him next month because I already used up my drills for this month on this association. So, you know, that's my second unit. We have a pretty good team right now, a really good team. So since we have this pretty great team, I'm not understanding why I'm having so much problem scoring this game. And that's because I realized since I got some new players, I don't really know the offense, you know. So, you know, I'm still going to have to get used to this, this team. But, you know, it's a pretty good step up. I think I have a, I develop a great team in one season. So, hey, I'm doing better than Danny Ainge. I can tell you guys that. <laughs> 
And here's J.R. Smith. If you guys been paying attention to the video, J.R. Smith's been catching fire. So, you know, he's been doing very well to start this game. You know, pretty much keeping us in the game because we're not shooting well. We're missing free throws. And that's another thing about this team. We're not, we don't have that much good free throw shooters. I mean, Iggy missed two free throws. Gasol missed some free throws. And don't get me started on Rondo. I shot some free throws on Rondo. I always miss. I'm not too good with free throws with Rondo. No, it was a pretty good free throw shooter though, but you know our weak spot for this team is free throws, is free throw shooting. Everything else we should be, you know, everything else should be pretty good. So, yeah, did I cover all I have to talk about? Oh yeah, the pink sneakers. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I always give my player pink sneakers. Well, the pink sneakers, for me, it represents something that stands out. So, you know, since 2K13 and I think since 2K12, no, I don't think 2K12, but... You know, since 2K13, I always give the leader of the team pink sneakers. Because as I said, it represents someone different, you know, they stand out. And Rondo on this team, since I built the team around Rajon Rondo, he's basically the one standing out. Since he's the, you know, the main player, the point guard, he's running the show. I decided to give him the pink sneakers. Normally I give the pink sneakers to more than one player, but hey. Hey, I decided to just give it to Rondo this time because this team has a, a lot of good players. We got the big three in, you know, Rondo, Monte, and Iggy. I think that's my big three, in my opinion. I'll see if that changes as, you know, the season rolls along. Rolls along, sorry. So, yeah, that's my big three. And look at Iggy going to the basket. But, you know, that's why I give people the pink sneakers. I, always, I also do that on my career. Once I unlock the sneakers on my career, you know, I'm going to give Richie Anthony back his pink sneakers since, you know, I'm going to be the leader of that team one day. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to give myself the pink sneakers. So enough of talking. And let me get back into the, well, not get back into, let me get into this gameplay. We're up against the Orlando Magics. If you guys, the Orlando Magic, sorry. If you guys been paying attention, we have been down the entire game. We're not shooting well. We're missing a lot of shots. But J.R. Smith has been keeping us in the game. Iggy has been doing a good job too. Rondo has been missing some pretty good layups. I don't know what's going on with Rondo. But Monte Ellis has been doing pretty well this game too. As you see, we get the steal and the breakaway slam. Let's get it. So, you know, here we are. We've been, you know, down most of the, the game. I'm trying to come back right now. So, let me just shift the rest of my attention to this game. Because things are about to pick up. Let's go. Here we are in the third quarter. I find myself going to J.R. Smith a lot since he's scoring like crazy. Let's see what I got. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to get it out to J.R. Smith, but I get Iggy, Iggy for three. Oh, come on. That was an easy three-pointer, Iggy. How you missed that? I hate it come. All right, Ella Depot and the foul. Come on, man. Seriously? They would call that as a foul. DJ Augustine would foul him, but he misses the free throw. Let's go. We're running. Here in the fourth quarter, we need to come back. We need to stage a comeback right now. We've been down the entire game. I don't even think we led for the game. That's how bad we've been doing this game. But J.R. Smith kept us in things like I said. But here's Bradley. Bradley open for three. I love having Bradley on my team. An excellent defender. That's why I decided to trade Jimmy Butler over Bradley. I'm sorry, guys. But I would choose Bradley over Butler any day. Because Bradley have a lot of potential. He's a very good defender. So I wanted to keep him around. But hey. Something tells me I should have kept Jimmy Butler. But... Eh, not really mattered to me. Both are excellent defenders, so hey. Here's Rondo to the basket. I gotta catch up. We've been down most of the game. I don't even think we led once for the game. But we need some defense right now. And look at that. He pushed me out of the way and went straight to the basket. Come on now. Come on, 2K. Can't be serious with that. We need something right now. Oh, I see Iggy. Iggy to the basket. Let's get it. Alright, here's Nelson. Time running down, two seconds. No way he's making that with a hand in his face. Let's go, we're running. We need something right now. Ah, oh, man, time is running out. We got to win this game. Oh, J.R. Smith, look at this. Wide open, it's money. Oh, come on, man. We got a foul. Let's hope he miss a free throw. No. Oladipo gets the first free throw to go. Here's Oladipo, second free throw. He Oh, man, I thought he, I thought he would have missed. <laughs> All right, we need a three-point shot right now. We need a three-point shot. I'm going to J.R. Smith. He's been doing pretty good this game. Look, Smith, wide open. A release. Oh, come on, 2K. 
You cannot be serious. Now we got to play the foul game. They're bringing in their bench. This game is basically over. Ah, oh, man. We need something right now. Oh, Rondo with the steal. Here's Ellis. Ellis to the basket. 17 seconds left in this game. Come on, we got to play some defense right now. Rondo fouls him. We need to play the foul game. Come on. Mo Harkless miss, makes the first free throw. <laughs> I'm hoping for a miss right now. But just in case he missed, let me make sure and turn my late game foul into manual. So the CPU don't automatically foul them. I'm going to try to get the steal. Oh, he misses. Let's go. Let's go. Who am I going to for three? I'm going to go to Monte since Smith just missed two wide open shots. Here's Ellis. I'm putting up the three. Bang. I got it. Timeout Orlando. How did I get that three to go? Monte is in a three-point shooter. I think he got that fourth quarter close to signature skill. That's why. See, Orlando starting to get a little scared. They brought back in their players. <laughs> we need something right now. We need defense. Monte pokes the ball loose. Oh, he touched the ball last. It's our ball. That's our ball. Let's go. It's our ball. Celtics ball. Timeout. I'm calling a timeout so we could advance the ball. Oh, man. I'm going to Monte Ellis for another three. Monte scored the last five points. Oh, man. This would be an amazing comeback if we could somehow come back and tie the game and win. Oh my goodness, we gotta get this. We need this three right now. I'm going to Ellis. I need to get Ellis open. All right, let's see if I can get Ellis open. Oh, I get Ellis open. Ellis for the tie. I got it. I got it. I tied the game. Two seconds left. Here's Nelson. Full court buzzer beater. No way, no way. He misses the shot for the win. We are going to overtime. Holy shit, how did I come back? We were down by like 7 points with 20 seconds to go. Oh man, that was amazing man. You guys got to admit, that was amazing. How did I come back? We are in overtime, overtime basketball. I'm keeping the same lineup in. Oh man, I got to. Who's not in the game? Oh yeah, Paul Gasol isn't in the game. Oh man, but to show you guys that I'm not cheating because some of you guys might think I'm using game sliders. Look, I'm not using no game sliders. I didn't edit that last part of the video when, you know, when I made those two shots. I didn't edit it at all. And I am playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. You know, I just had to show you guys real quick. Just in case you guys think I'm bullshit. And J.R. Smith, open for three. And J.R. Smith messes it up again. Come on, Smith. Come on, man. Hopefully he could come through in the clutch. Because he's missing right now. I don't know what's going on with Smith. He was doing good all game. Now he's just, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Here's Vucevic. I don't even know how to say his name. I'm not even going to try. Here's Davis. He makes the first. He misses the second. We're running. I see Smith. I get it to Smith. Oh, you're not shooting the ball. I get it to Ellis. Good job, Ellis. Let's go. This game is so close. I'm at the edge of my seat right now. Here's Nelson. Gets it inside to Davis. He is not making Oh, come on, man. How are we going to give up an and one like that? Ah, oh, man. You're better than that, Noah. Come on. And he misses another free throw. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Rondo to the basket. We take the lead. I think I passed my let's go quarter for the game. Because normally I have a certain amount of times I say let's go. But I think I, I passed it. <laughs> I said let's go about a million times, guys. I know that could get annoying sometimes. I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm getting hype. You know, I got to get hype. Here's Rondo. We're down by one. We need something. Rondo. Oh, I lost the ball. Oh, wait. Come on, Noah. Cut to the basket. What are you doing? All right. Come on, Noah. You got to make this. I'm putting it up with Noah. Let's go. I get it. Sorry for saying let's go again. I'm sorry. I can't help it, man. I can't help it. The magic. Magic. They turned over the ball in the past two possessions. Rondo to the basket. It's a three-point lead. The Orlando Magic, they just keep turning over the ball. They turned it over on their last two possessions. Let's see if they can score in this possession. Here's Nelson going to the basket. That was my fault. Oh, he kicked it out to David. I hate it when the CPU does that. They always get the passes to go, you know, when they kick out of a shot. But when I do it, it's a turnover, right? <laughs> All right, we need a dagger right now. We need a dagger. Who am I going to? Should I go back to Monte? Should I go to Rondo? Iggy? Oh, man, I need something. Uh, I don't really got nothing. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm too hyped up right now. I'm gonna get it to J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith for three. He oh, I got it. Oh, that was a C release. That was the dagger. Oh man, I got a C release to go with J.R. Smith, but I'm missing A releases. Come on, man. Come on, 2K. 
and he scores Vucevic. Let's get it. We need something right now. I'm not allowing them to foul me. I'm shooting this shot with Smith wide open. Avery, oh, come, yo, come on, man. It's a two-point game now. Now they're going to have a chance to win the game or tie it and send it into double OT. That was my fault. I should have just let them foul me. I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, stop Nelson. Stop Nelson. No overtime. Yes. Oh, kick ball. That kick ball BS. So with one second, they have a chance to win or tie. I think they're going to go for the win. I got to hold Nelson because Nelson's making some crazy shots. Nelson for the win. Oh. Okay, let's get it. We win. Oh, man, what an amazing comeback. We didn't leave for the game until overtime. Oh, man. What a game. I don't even have much words right now. J.R. Smith with 20. Monte Ellis came through in the clutch with 14. Iggy with 13. Noah with 7. Bradley with 6. Oh, man, what an overall good team game. J.R. Smith came through when I needed him most. You know, all my players came through in the clutch. Oh man, this was a pretty amazing game. It was a thriller. Monte did excellent. He put in work. Rondo with 11 assists and 6 points.